Okay, would everyone please silence all cell phones and electronic devices and stand for the Pledge of Allegiance in a moment of silence and remain standing afterwards. Legislator Rob Sassy to introduce our singers for today's singing of the national anthem. Good afternoon. Yes, we have singers today. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to introduce uh, two sophomores from Pinebush High School. Uh, one happens to be a relative, my daughter, Catherine Sassy, and her good friend, Daniela Dechgai. They are in select choir at Pinebush High School and they have phenomenal voices. I think my daughter learned most of it from me, but uh, you can judge for yourself. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here they are. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. O'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say, does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave? Hold on, ladies. Before you leave, on behalf of the Orange County Legislator, Legislature, we would like to present both of you with a certificate of appreciation. Catherine, there's yours, and Daniela, there's yours. Thank you very much, ladies. Thank you, ladies. That was a wonderful job. Beautiful voices and uh, very good. By the way, it was Legislator Sassy who brought this idea to the legislature. I think it's a fantastic idea. It, it, uh, certainly shows the pride we have in our country. And I'd also like to thank Rob's uh, lovely wife, Patricia, over there. You wanna wave, Patricia? And Daniel, his son, who by the way is a Yankee fan. Yeah. Rob's a Boston fan, but he's a Yankee fan. So. Thanks for coming. Okay, roll call. Benelli? Here. Baduke? Here. Amo? Here. Anagnostakis? Right. Benton? Here. Cheney? Bagione, Hines, Here. Kulisek, Here. Lujan, Present. Menuda, Here. O'Donnell, Here. Riskevich, Here. Sassy, Here. Sierra, Here. Staganga, Here. Sutherland, Tautel, Tui, Biro, Brescia. Here. 20 present, one absent. Okay, I would like to invite John Steinberg up to the front podium right there. I see him in the front row. John, I'll be right up, and uh, we have a proclamation for you. I don't know if anybody else is here from the IDA. But. Thank you. John, we'll fa let's face the audience, okay? Um, it gives me great pleasure to present you with a proclamation from the Orange County Legislature for over 30 years of uh, committed membership on the Orange County IDA. Uh, your service has been stellar. Um, you know, we have a, a couple um, intellectuals in this legislature, Michael Amo and Barry Cheney, and you were definitely the intellectual on the Orange County IDA board. Um, we can't thank you enough for your years of service, your acumen. 
I've known John for many years. Um, I dealt with him in the lumber business. He ran Schoolmaker Homes in Brescia Lumber, bought a lot of material for my family, and then subsequently Rally. Had his office right at the beginning of uh, Colden Park. Uh, just a, a brilliant businessman, was involved in so many agencies throughout the county, um, and he brought a lot to the Orange County IDA. And we th thank you for your many years of service, John. John, uh, you graduated from Stanford, correct? And after I give you these proclamations, maybe you just tell it. You played for the Giants for a year or two? I was drafted by them. I didn't play. You drafted, but you didn't play. But, but you were a hell of a player anyway. I thought so. <laughs> John, I have this proclamation from the legislature, and I'm not going to read the whole thing. But I will You'll put everyone to sleep. <clears throat> yeah, probably. But I'll hit the key, uh, the first whereas. Proclamation of the Orange County Legislature recognizing March 20th, 2020, Wrong proclamation, Miloma Mouth or whatever, that's yours, Paul, right? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry about that. We're easy, we'll take what we can get. <laughs> you want that one too? Sure. Okay. A proclamation of the Orange County Legislature recognizing, <laughs> recognizing and honoring John Steinberg, Jr., 30 years of dedicated service to the Orange County Industrial Development Agency. Whereas it is fitting and appropriate to acknowledge dedication in a lifetime of Good works on behalf of one's fellow man and community, the extra efforts and voluntary activities assured for the benefit of others sets a noble and important example of citizenship which is essential to the preservation of our society. Whereas, I'm going to read this whole thing, John, because you deserve it. Whereas John Steinberg, Jr. has a wide range of experience in both the public and private sectors, he was the owner of Schoolmaker Homes and success, successfully excuse me, managed the business until it sold in 2006. Prior to that, he was the factory manager at Union Carbide Corporation, and he worked for Shelter Resources Corporation as the president of one of their subs uh, subsidiaries. Whereas John Steinberg, Jr. was president of New York State Home Builders Association in 1979, director of the National Association of Home Builders Association, chairman of the New York State Build Pack, and is a licensed real estate broker. And whereas John Steinberg is the recipient of the Design Build Award for a passive solar home from New York State Energy Research and Development Authority, and he has received Distinguished Service Award from the New York State Department of Housing and Urban Development for building affordable housing. Whereas John Steinberg Jr. began his service on the Orange County Industrial Development Agency in 1989 and served for 30 years in various capacities. He was the former board chairman and assistant secretary, second vice chair and vice chairman. And whereas John Steinberg Jr. attended Harvard Graduate School of Business Administration. I didn't know that, wow. And where he received a master's degree in business, business administration and received a bachelor of science in industrial engineering from the Leland Stanford Junior University. And whereas the exceptional experience and qualifications of John Steinberg Jr supported the Orange County Industrial Development Agency's mission of economic growth, and its 30 years of service is displayed all over the Orange County. Now, therefore, it be resolved, it is hereby proclaimed that we, the legislature of the County of Orange, on behalf of ourselves and all the people of the County of Orange, do hereby designate this day as a day of recognition of John Steinberg, Jr., in acknowledgment of 30 years of committed service to the Orange County Industrial Development Agency, and of his dedication and service to the community. And we do further commend these sentiments to all the people of the County of Orange, given this fifth day of March, L. Stephen Brescia, Chairman, Orange County Legislature. <laughs> one more thing before I have you say it. One more thing. Good afternoon, everybody. Wait one second. I just have one more thing for you. This is from me. much to read on this one. In recognition of over 30 years of dedicated service on the Orange County Industrial Development Agency, your knowledge, attention to detail, commitment, and leadership will long be remembered. L. Stephen Brescia, Chairman of the Legislature. I just want to say uh, good, uh, good evening, uh, good afternoon, rather. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Steve and all of you um, it's important that we recognize when opportunities are there. And in my case, it took Dan Leo 30, 30 some odd years ago, who was then the chairman of the IDA, and it took the then legislature to appoint me. 
and it's been it's been a home run experience. It's been a lot of fun, uh, a lot of challenges. Uh, it was one of those things. It's probably like you legislators feel. You always probably feel you can spend more time working on legislative activities. I always felt I could spend more time, you know, working on IDA activities. But you you do what you can, and. Uh, it was just a marvelous experience for me, and I'm truly thankful. And while none of the current legislators, le legislators were on the legislature at that time, you're stuck with me because the, the other ones are not here, and Dan Leo has passed away. I want to thank you all very much. It was, uh, it, you don't get, sometimes you don't get the opportunities you want, but when you get them, it's nice to be able to have 30 years of really good experience. Thank you very much. I don't want to say just one, one other thing, um, and this had nothing to do with the IDA, but uh, I've lost um, my wife and my father-in-law to Alzheimer's, and so uh, I feel I have some knowledge and some expertise there. And I was very fortunate to find a great doctor, Dr. William Rodman Shankel. Um, he's, his office is in uh, Newport, California, and he's written a book called Preventing Alzheimer's. Now I will tell you, uh, and he will tell you, that we don't have a cure for Alzheimer's right now. But um, he has been very effective in delaying the disease. And many of his patients are sufficiently successful in delaying the disease that they die from some other, from some other issue. And so uh, if any of you have and the same for the audience. If any of you have uh, family members, blood relatives that have uh, cognitive issues, um, go find this book and read it. Because the, uh, of, the, of the things I've learned, if you have those cognitive issues, the sooner you address them, the longer you will survive the disease. And you'll find that if you read the book. The book is called Preventing Alzheimer's, William Rodman Shankle. Uh, I've got a copy here if anyone wants to see it. But please, it, it's just so important. I learned it the hard way. Thank you. Thank you so much, John. And thank you for all your, you did for Anne. We know it was a long struggle, and you were there by her side every, every day. So thank you again. Thank you. I'll let you have the box, too, so you can put that in. Thank you, my friend. God bless. Godspeed. OK, Paul, you want to come up? Legislator Ruskevich to present the next certificate. Thank you, Steve. Uh, as many of you know, the last uh, few years, uh, every March, we've uh, done a proclamation recognizing March as uh, multiple, multiple Myeloma uh, Action Month. And multiple myeloma is a, um, it's a blood cancer. It's uh, one of the, it's a rare form of cancer. However, it's probably the most common type of blood cancer there is out there. And uh, I know several years ago, uh, this was brought to my attention by uh, Adina Epstein, who was the founder of the uh, Orange County MM Support Group. And um, unfortunately, just a few weeks ago, she passed away. Um, but the support group is still going. Um, uh, unfortunately, no one was uh, able to be here today to uh, accept this. But I will be at their uh, meeting here later this month to present that to them. So uh, I want to thank you all for doing this. Thank you, Paul. You want to give it to them? Thank you very much. We know that's near and dear to your heart. Thank you for that. Next up, I would like to invite Karen Havel up for her presentation of Award of Excellence in Investigating, Investing, excuse me, by Garrett McDonald from 3 Plus 1 Advisors. Do we have anything up here for them? I don't see a certificate. Oh, you've got it. You're, you're going to do the presentation. Yes. Right? Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time this afternoon. My name is Garrett. Um, I'm the vice president of 3 Plus 1, and we're a financial analysis firm that's proudly served Orange County since 2018. Um, 
we just want to congratulate Orange County and Commissioner of uh, Finance Karen Hablow on the outstanding financial results that uh, she and the county and her staff has achieved over the past 12 months. There are four other peer counties in the state of New York similar to Orange County from an operating budget perspective. Of these similar county sizes, Orange County in the way of earning and saving more on all liquidity is the undisputed leader using the precise analytical data and cash management techniques that we provide to maximize the earnings on every dollar that the county has flowing through its accounts. A couple interesting numbers. Uh, under Karen's guidance, Orange County earned uh, $2.8 million in interest over the past 12 months. Uh, compare that to other peer counties and they projected earnings in the range of 400 to 900,000. That's more than $2 million more annually compared to peer counties. That $2.8 million in operating revenue that Orange County government um, did not have to raise in, in taxes, which is great. With county tax revenues currently at approximately $131 billion annually, that's taxing revenues. Karen's office is generating approximately 2.1% of county tax revenues and additional income through those liquidity management practices. Again, 2.1% that would not have been raised uh, in taxes, which is, which is great. So at 3 plus 1, we're really honored uh, to serve Karen in Orange County, and we're really committed to helping uh, Orange County and the other counties that we serve across New York State achieve the maximum financial benefit that they can on all of, of their cash. We're announcing today that Orange County and Commissioner um, of Finance Karen Hablow will be inducted into 3 Plus One's 2020 90s Club Award. Uh, the 90s Club highlights those New York State counties that are demonstrating the highest level of value generation on liquidity for taxpayers in the state, especially at a time where it's so important. This award will be officially presented at the upcoming annual finance school in conjunction with the New York State Association of Counties who we're partnered with, um, the National Association of Counties who we're partnered with, and the New York State Comptroller's Office. It's an event that's attended by almost every financial professional in the state. So thank you very much for allowing me to share a little bit about what your county is achieving. It's remarkable, it's commendable. Um, it's about counting what counts and earning and saving the most that you can on the dollars the taxpayers are entrusting to each and every single one of you. So congratulating Karen and thank you so much for allowing us to present this word to you this afternoon. Thank you very much. So thank you very much. Um, thank you Garrett and 3 plus 1 for recognizing the hard work that we've done and the success that we've realized over the last 12 months. Um, we certainly could not have achieved such substantial results without the help of you and your firm. So we really do appreciate that. And I'd also like to thank the county executive and the legislature for their support of our partnership with 3 plus 1 advisors, um, which Garrett has stated has been to be proven to be extremely successful and beneficial to the county and our taxpayers. Um, finally, um, and not lastly, I must thank my staff for all their hard work and dedication. This is just one of many, many um, great financial responsibilities we handle in finance. And these great results would not be possible without such a talented and dedicated staff who's in the, in the back there. So I share this with you and I thank you. Um, I appreciate all your help and dedication. Um, and finally, um, it has been and continues to be my pleasure to and honor to help the county executive achieve his goal of keeping taxes down in Orange County. And I'm glad to be able to do my part with the help of three plus one. So thank you very much. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Karen, for all you do. Uh, we're extremely proud of you for this honor. And we know you have a great team, Deputy Commissioner Gary Gallagher and your whole team. Uh, you constantly work on the Moody's rating with the county executive. Um, and it's great for you to be recognized in this fashion. So I hope he loosens the checkbook a little bit at budget time for you. Anyway, I hate to say that with the budget we're going to have to adopt. But uh, what's that? <laughs> well, Harry keeps everything tight. But, but congratulations. We're very proud of you. And keep up the great work. Picture? Yeah, did you get a picture of John and myself too? Yeah. You did? Okay. okay. Can we just get one of the whole staff? 
Okay, do you want to do it in the lobby? Yes. Thank you. Okay. Okay, Majority Leader Benelli. Oh, no public participation at the front, one, at the beginning, one at the end. Okay, look, Majority Leader Benelli. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I respectfully move to approve the minutes of January 6, 2020. Okay. All in favor? Aye. So, so carried. Okay, no referrals. There are referrals. Drawing two items. Okay. Any referrals, consents, or withdrawals? Majority Leader Benelli? Actually, it's, it's Legislator Tui. Okay. Legislator Tui, I'm sorry. Yeah, I request that item number 12 on the agenda bond resolution of the County of Orange and New York, authorizing the construction of various improvements at the Stone Ford Golf Course, stating the estimated total cost thereof is 25000 appropriating said amount therefore, and authorizing the issuance of 25000 Okay, if there are no objections, that, that number 12 will be withdrawn. Anything else? Okay, Legislator Ruscavich. Uh, yes, I request uh, item number 13 on the agenda, bond resolution of the County of Orange, New York, authorizing the construction of various improvements on the Hickory Hill Golf Course, stating the estimated total cost of the road is 25000 appropriating set amount. Okay, if there are no objections, they'll be withdrawn. Okay. Okay, A, receive and file. And B is receive and file. Okay, I got that. Yep. Okay, number one. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Bidu? Yes. Amo? Yes. Benelli Stockton? Benton? Fagnon? Hines? Kulisak? Luhan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Riskadis? Riskadis? Sassi? Sierra? Saganga? Sutherland? Patel? Tui? Sierra? Gresham? 20 eyes. Okay, number two. Legislative Fabio, Ingo, Bureau, Chini, Benelli, Hines, Pulisic, Duke. 
Resolution of the New York County Legislature to the New York State Legislature and Governor of the State of New York strongly opposing Assembly Bill Number A00190, proposed legislation authorizing the New York State Thruway Authority and New York State Bridge Authority to conduct a joint study and report on methods to share services, combine functions, and merge said authorities into a single entity. Right. Discussion. Majority Leader Manelli. Again, Mr. Chairman, I would ask that all Republicans be at this conference. CSEA called me about this, and he was, he's right. I mean, and I got a couple other calls too. I mean, it's kind of ridiculous that this thing is doing this. Another efficient form of government that's running, you know, one of the cheapest <laughs> toll rates in the country, for God's sakes. Look, I'm talking about the right resolution, am I not? Oh, okay. <laughs> but um, yeah, I agree with him. I mean, it's just uh, absurd that they want to. Merge a, a, an authority that's working perfectly fine, um, and it has, and, it, and you saw the many reasons and the whereases um, why we should keep it the way it is. So I encourage you to pass this, and I think we will unanimously roll call, except for one abstention, roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduke? Yes. Daniel? Yes. Magnuson? Yes. Legislators Kulasek and Hines, resolution confirming the reappointments by the county executive to the Orange County Board of Ethics pursuant to local law number two of 1994. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Padupe? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Bagion? Hines? Kulasek? Luhan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Stagenga, I'm sorry. Stagenga, Sutherland, Tautel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 19 eyes, one abstention. Okay, number five. Legislators Paduke and Amo, resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Department of Planning to accept and appropriate funds from the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation pursuant to section 99-H of the general municipal law and section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? All Dems, and Stagenga, Luhan's already added, okay, and Bagion. Okay, roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Bagion? Hines? Kulasek? Luhan? Menuda, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Stiganga, Sutherland, Totel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 20 eyes. Number six. Legislators Hines and Kulasek, resolution of the Orange County Legislature pursuant to New York State Election Law Section 3-302 and 3-420.1, approving the salary schedules for various election workers for the election year 2020. Discussion? Uh, Totel added, okay. And Kevin Darian Lujan added, Fagione added, and Sierra added, Stiganga and Benelli. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Luhan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Stiganga? Sutherland? Tautel? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 20 eyes. Okay, number seven. Odd resolution, two thirds vote, supermajority. Legislators Vero, Kulasek, Benton, and Benelli. Bond resolution dated March 5th, 2020. 
Bond resolution of the County of Orange, New York, authorizing the acquisition of voting machines, stating the estimated total cost thereof is 329,405, appropriating said amount therefore, and authorizing the issuance of 329,405 bonds of the county to finance said appropriation. Discussion? Paducah added, Tortell added, Lujan, and Sierra. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Lujan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Riskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Tortell? Tui? Biro? Fresha? 20 eyes. Number eight. Legislators Paduk, Amo, Benton, and Menuda. Resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Department of Planning to accept and appropriate funds from the New York State Department of Transportation pursuant to section 99-H of a general municipal law in section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Uh, Fagion added, Kulisek, Lujan, Totel, Staganga, Tui, Sierra. Okay, roll call. Like an auctioneer up here. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Anagnostakis, Benton, Fagione, Hines, Kulisek, Lujan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tortell, Tui, Biro, Brescia. 20 eyes. Okay, number nine. Legislators Hines, Paduke, Staganga, Biro, Fagione, Sierra, Sassy. Resolution of the Orange County Legislature urging the New York State Legislature and Governor of the State of New York to enact Senate Bill Number 7280 and Assembly Bill Number 9107, amending the Criminal Procedure Law Section 245.20 in relation to ensuring privacy protections for all emergency personnel present at a crime scene. Uh, Majority Leader Benelli. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Respectfully ask that all Republicans be added as well. Certainly. Thank all you. Democrats, too. Mike, okay, and no, no add-on for Mike Anagnostakis, just Michael Emo. And Lujan not added. Hotel added. Okay, Kevin Hines added. No. Oh, you want to speak? Okay. <laughs> All right, go ahead, Kevin. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I uh, just want to urge everybody to please vote for this. This is uh, came to me from the Volunteer Fire Service. And it also supports our volunteer, or any, whether paid or volunteer, emergency service workers. Uh, this is part of the uh, bail reform criminal procedure uh, changes that came down from the governor's office. And it really leaves our emergency service workers and our volunteer firefighters and our professional firefighters exposed. The, uh, if they show up at a crime scene to render first aid or a car accident where there could be a criminal element such as DWI to it or manslaughter for that matter, uh, the, uh, dis the district attorney would be required to turn over the names of the volunteer firefighters with their addresses and things of that nature. This is uh, a way to protect those that are volunteering or, or serving us to, to protect our fellow citizens. It's just another one of the examples of uh, the problems with the criminal procedure changes in the bail reform law. So this is just one more uh, piece of paper that's going to hit the governor's office to say, please fix the problems. I know everybody uh, has different opinions on the changes that came down from Albany. Everybody, I think, agrees some changes were necessary, but this is over the top and, and dangerous. And I thank uh, Antoinette, our counsel, for putting this together, along with Bob Conflitti from the DA's office and uh, Chairman Fagione for rules for putting it on. Thank you. And thank you, Legislator Hines, for bringing this to public safety. I mean, it's just another example of overreach by the state. I was a volunteer fireman many years ago, for, for many years, and, um, you know, volunteerism has been on the decline since way back when, and we need all we can do to keep volunteers volunteers. So I encourage you, like Legislator Hines, to pass this. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Yes. Benton? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Lujan? Menuda, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tortell, Tui, Biro, Brescia. 19 eyes, one abstention. Okay, number 10. 
Legislator Sassine Stagango, resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Department of Emergency Services to accept and appropriate grant funds from the State of New York State Division of Homeland Security and Emergency Services pursuant to section 99-H of the general municipal law in section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Discussion, Fagione added. It's all Republicans. All Republicans, okay. All Democrats, okay. And all or one on the independents? Okay, <laughs> both independence members, roll call. Vanelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anaktostakis, Benton, Fagione, Hines, Kulisek, Lujan, Minuta, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Totel, Tui, Bureau, Brescia, 20 ayes. Okay, number 11. Legislators Benton and Paduk, resolution of the Orange County Legislature authorizing the right of way acquisition of a parcel of real property situated in the town of Wallkill. County of Orange, State of New York, for the purpose of the replacement of Maple Glen Bridge. Discussion. Discussion. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Lujan? Minuta? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Tartel? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 20 ayes. Okay, 12 and 13 withdrawn. Number 14, supermajority because it's a bond resolution. Legislators Tui, Ruskevich, Benton, and Hines. Bond resolution dated March 5th, 2020. Bond resolution of the County of Orange, New York, authorizing the pavement of the cart path of the back nine holes of Stony Ford Golf Course, stating the estimated maximum cost thereof is 125,000, appropriating said amount, therefore, and authorizing the issuance of 125,000 bonds of the county to finance said appropriation. Discussion. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Lujan? No. Minuta? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Tortel? Yes. Tui? Vero? Brescia? 18 eyes, two no's. And number 15. Legislators Tui, Ruskevich, Benton, and Minuta. Bond resolution dated March 5, 2020. Bond resolution of the County of Orange, New York, authorizing the pavement of the cart path of the back nine holes of Hickory Hill Golf Course, stating the estimated maximum cost thereof is 125,000, appropriating said amount, therefore, and authorizing the issuance of 125,000 bonds of the county to finance said appropriation. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Anagnostakis, Benton, Fagione, Hines, Kulisek, Lujan, no. Minuta, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tartel, no. Tui, Vero, Brescia. 18 ayes, two noes. And number 16. Legislators Benton, Tui, and Anagnostakis. Bond resolution dated March 5, 2020. Bond resolution of the County of Orange, New York, authorizing the construction of improvements to various county park facilities, stating the estimated total cost thereof is 100,000, appropriating said amount, therefore, and authorizing the issuance of 100,000 bonds of the county to finance said appropriation. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Lujan? Minuta, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tartel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 20 ayes. Number 17. Legislators Paduk, Minuta, Benton, and Hines. Bond resolution dated March 5, 2020. Bond resolution of the County of Orange, New York, authorizing the construction of parking lot and roadway improvements at various county park facilities stating the estimated total cost thereof is 150,000, appropriating said amount therefore and authorizing the issuance of 150,000 bonds of the county to finance said appropriation. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Lujan? Minuta? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland, Tortel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 20 ayes. Please add Lujan to that resolution. 
Okay, number 18. Legislators Paduk, Tui, Benton, and Agnostakis, Benelli, Hines, Kulasek, Minuta. Resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Department of Parks, Recreation, and Conservation to implement and fund in the first instance 100% of the federal aid and state Marcaselli program aid eligible costs of a transportation federal aid project and enter into supplemental agreement number four with the New York State Department of Transportation for costs of the preliminary engineering, construction, and construction inspection for the Heritage Trail extension pursuant to section 99-H of a general municipal law and section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Tautel added? Okay. All Dems added? Okay. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Lujan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland, Tartell, Tui, Bureau, Brescia. 20 ayes. Okay, number 19, supermajority. Legislators Paduk, Tui, Benton, and Agnostakis, Benelli, Hines, Kulasek, and Minuta. Bond resolution, I'm sorry, amending bond resolution dated March 5th, 2020. Further amending the bond resolution adopted February 2nd, 2012, and amended on February 4th, 2016, May 3rd, 2018, February 7, 2019, April 5th, 2019, and July 2nd, 2019, in relation to financing the cost of the construction of the recreational area improvements at the county-owned Heritage Trail at the estimated total cost of 10,766,990. Discussion? Yes, minority leader, excuse me, on tongue time. Duke. Uh, just to regard to the Heritage Trail, we've done a great job on it so far. This money allows us to continue, and we're heading right straight to Middletown. Now. A great addition, Middletown's uh, preparing for it. I've got a lot of money to fix up storefronts and stuff, so it's going to be going right through. So not only is this money well spent, but it'll be an economic uh, engine as well for the Orange County Board of City of Middletown. So thank you. Thank you. That's for sure. Yes. Yes. Okay, roll call. Benelli? Paduk, yes. Amo, yes. Anagnostakis, Benton, Fagione, Hines, Kulasek, Lujan, Minuta, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tortell, Tui, Bureau, Brescia. 20 eyes. Okay, number 20. Supermajority. Legislators Benton, Tui, and Hines. Bond resolution dated March 5th, 2020. Bond resolution of the County of Orange, New York, authorizing the acquisition of various grounds equipment for various locations, stating the estimated total cost thereof is 150,000, appropriating said amount therefore, and authorizing the issuance of 150,000 bonds for the county to finance said appropriation. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek, Lujan, Minuta, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tartell, Tui, Bureau, Brescia. 20 eyes. Okay, number 21, supermajority. Legislators Benton, Minuta, and Anagnostakis. Bond resolution dated March 5th, 2020. Bond resolution of the County of Orange, New York, authorizing the acquisition and installation of building equipment for various county facilities, stating the estimated total cost thereof is 150,000, appropriating said amount therefore, and authorizing the issuance of 150,000 bonds of the county to finance said appropriation. Second. Discussion? R roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis, Benton, Fagione, Hines, Kulasek, Lujan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tartell, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 20 ayes. A number 22, another bond resolution, supermajority. Legislators Menuda, Ruskevich, Benton, and Paduk. Bond resolution dated March 5th, 2020. Bond resolution of the County of Orange, New York, authorizing the construction of ADA improvements to various county facilities, stating the estimated total cost thereof is 50,000, 
appropriating said amount, therefore, and authorizing the issuance of 50,000 bonds of the county to finance said appropriation. Discussion? Yes. Okay, Tui added and Lujan added. Minority Leader Paduk. Kathy Stiganga added too. Yes. Okay, Janet, do you want to be added? So, yeah, Janet added too. So other one. Okay, roll call. Benelli. Yes. Paduk. Yes. Amo. Yes. Anagnostakis. Benton. Kajion. Hines. Kulasek. Luhan. Menuda. O'Donnell. Ruskevich. Sassy. Sierra. Stiganga. Sutherland. Totel. Tui, Vero, Brescia. 20 ayes. Okay, number 23, bond resolution supermajority. Legislators Tui, Menuda, Benton, and Kulasek. Bond resolution dated March 5, 2020. Bond resolution of the County of Orange, New York, authorizing the removal of asbestos and lead from the various county from various county facilities, stating the estimated maximum cost thereof is 50,000, appropriating said amount therefore, and authorizing the issuance of 50,000 bonds of the county to finance said appropriation. Second. Discussion? Um, Minority Leader Paduk. Mr. Chairman, uh, in terms of services, we discussed this. We're sort of piecemealing some of these projects. This is a, a, a big amount to be paying to make a couple of repairs in a 100 year old building. There's some concerns regarding the piping uh, and other asbestos related issues. So we've asked, and hopefully this will get done, that they do a survey and a study to see how much it would cost to have it all done at once so that we can see if there's any other uh, possible. Uh, leaks in piping, which would need to be repaired as well. So it's one way to save the county money instead of piecemealing, even all, you know, making it a huge project to rid the facility of the assessment that's uh, not good for anyone. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Janet, 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 Menuda, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Stiganga, Sutherland, Tortel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 20 ayes. Okay, number 24. Legislators Menuda, Tui, and Benton. Bond resolution dated March 5, 2020. Bond resolution of the County of Orange, New York, authorizing the construction of improvements to various county facilities, stating the estimated total cost thereof is 350,000, appropriating said amount therefore, and authorizing the issuance of 350,000 bonds of the county to finance said appropriation. Discussion. Roll call. Benelli. Yes. Paduk. Yes. Amo. Yes. Anagnostakis. Benton. Fagione, Hines, Kulasek, Luhan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Stiganga, Sutherland, Totel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 20 ayes. Okay, number 25. Legislators Ruskevich, Menuda, Benton, and Benelli. Bond resolution dated March 5, 2020. Bond resolution of the County of Orange, New York, authorizing pave paving improvements of various transfer stations. I'm sorry. Various authorizing paving, paving improvements of transfer stations number one and number three for the Department of Public Works, stating the estimated maximum cost thereof is 550,000, appropriating said amount therefore, and authorizing the issuance of 550,000 bonds of the county to finance said appropriation. Okay, Fagione added. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek, Luhan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Stiganga, Sutherland, Tortel, Tui, Vero, Vero, Brescia. 20 ayes. Okay, number 26. Legislator Benton, resolution approving the applications for the correction of certain errors appearing on the 2020 tax rolls for certain towns and districts and ordering the correction of said errors pursuant to section 554 of the real property tax law. Discussion? Lori Totel added. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Luhan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Stiganga? Sutherland? Totel? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 20 eyes. Number 27. 
Legislators O'Donnell and Tuohy, resolution authorizing the Orange County Executive on behalf of the Orange County Office for the Aging to enter into intermunicipal agreements between the County of Orange and the Town of Blooming Grove, the Village of Greenwood Lake, the Village of Montgomery, and the Town of Warwick, pursuant to General Municipal Law, Section 1190. Discussion. Oh, sponsor. Yes, Legislator Benelli, Steganga, Baduk, and Ruskevich. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Luhan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Steganga? Sutherland? Totel? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 20 ayes. Okay, number 28. Legislators Totel and O'Donnell, resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Office for the Aging to accept and appropriate additional grant funds from the New York State Office for the Aging, pursuant to section 99-H of general municipal law and section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Luhan, Minuta, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Steganga, Sutherland, Totel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 20 ayes. Okay, number 29. Legislators Totel and Tui, resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Department of Health to accept and appropriate grant funds from the New York State Department of Health pursuant to section 99-H of the general municipal law and section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Discussion? Uh, Luhan added. Okay. Yeah, um, Minu Minuta added, I'm sorry. Steganga. Okay, roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yep. Anagnostakis? Benton? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Luhan? Minuta? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Steganga? Sutherland? Totel? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 20 ayes. Number 30. Legislators Tui and Totel, resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Department of Health to accept and appropriate funds from the New York State Department of Health pursuant to section 99-H of the general municipal law and section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Discussion. Um, okay, Luhan, discussion. Minuta added to, sorry. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, for those of you who are on the on health and mental health committee, um, we received, uh, and for those of you who weren't, uh, we received some really staggering numbers about about uh, HIV and AIDS and other um, other other diseases. And uh, this funding is is definitely going to be very helpful for that. Um, but when we see numbers about 25 percent plus in in uh, young women between the ages of 19 and 24 years old, um, clearly there's still a lot more that we can and should be doing. Um, so while this is definitely a great help. Um, we should definitely consider um, what we could be doing further to make sure that we're uh, making sure that our young uh, ladies and, and young gentlemen are uh, taking precautions. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And uh, I will be, uh, I'm being added, correct? Yes, you're added. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Yep. Sierra added as well. And Sutherland added. Okay, roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Luhan, Minuta, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Steganga, Sutherland, Totel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 20 ayes. Okay, number 31. Legislators Tui and Luhan. Resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Department of Health to accept and appropriate funds from the National Association of County and City Health Officials pursuant to section 99-H of the general municipal law and section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Discussion. Oh, Totel added, Minuta added, um, Paduk added. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Luhan? Minuta? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Steganga? Sutherland? Totel? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 20 eyes. Okay, number 32. Legislators Luhan, Fagione, Kulisek. Resolution making a supplemental appropriation to remove the grant stipulation for a position at the Orange County Department of Planning pursuant to section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Discussion? Totel added. Roll call. Benelli? 
Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Bagione? Hines? Kulasek? Lujan? Minuta? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Tortell? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 20 ayes. Okay, number 33. Legislators Lujan, Fagion, and Kulasek, an act amending the appropriate Orange County employment schedules to remove stipulation from one planner at the Orange County Department of Planning pursuant to section 2.02i of the Orange County Charter. Discussion. Discussion. Totel added. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Fagion? Hines? Kulasek? Lujan? Minuta? O'Donnell? Ruskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tortell, Tui, Bureau, Brescia. 20 ayes. In number 34. Sure. Legislators Sierra, Benton, and Kulasek, an act amending the appropriate Orange County employment schedules to reallocate supervisor of payroll and employee benefits at the Orange County Department of Finance pursuant to section 2.02 I of the Orange County Charter. Okay. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo, Anagnostakis, Benton, Fagione, Hines, Kulasek, Lujan, Minuta, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tortell, Tui, Bureau, Brescia. 20 ayes. Okay, number 35. Legislators Tortell, Staganga, and Lujan, an act amending the appropriate Orange County employment schedules to create home health care clinical manager at the Orange County Department of Residential Health Care Services pursuant to section 2.02i of the Orange County Charter. Discussion? Uh, two we added. Okay. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Lujan? Minuta? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Tortell? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 20 ayes, Mr. Chairman, and the desk is clear. Okay, we have one speaker, Gail Jeter from the town of Crawford, uh, speaking on Valley View Family Council. Okay, thank you. I'm here again this month to request that you come to the April 6th meeting of the Valley View Family Council. Um, this will be our third request. We asked initially in November for December's meeting. Um, we, we were told that no by Mr. O'Donnell and when we asked if he would respond to our email, he said no. I know last meeting you said that Mr. O'Donnell would get back to us regarding coming to the March meeting, we have heard nothing, and uh, we'd like to be able to give you some input regarding our loved ones at Valley View. So would you be able to give us some information or tell us whether we could possibly see the Health and Mental Health Committee at our next meeting, which is April 6th at 6 p.m.? I, well, I'll leave that to Chairman O'Donnell's discretion. I probably was remiss in not forwarding that to you. I don't recall but it was said at the last meeting. But I don't know if you want to address that now or after the meeting. Or problem is that many of our loved ones work during the day. Many times it's not a spouse who's retired. A lot of times it is a son or a daughter who is a caregiver. And as I said, we are requesting that the health and mental health uh, members come uh, speak with us regarding different issues. Um, would that be possible at 6 p.m.? No, he does not. Well, we've changed it to 6 p.m. so that people who work can come. He's been to one meeting since then, but we really would like to hear from you. Okay. Two committees at every committee meeting, but 
also anything you have in writing, put in writing, and you'll get an answer in writing. As I stated, I was at one of those meetings, and it was the A team against the B team. So it was a total waste of time, the last meeting I was at. I'm at Valley View every month. All right. I'm okay. My cell phone is listening <coughs> for any resident there. Thank you. Thank you, Chairman. Yeah, please put it, yeah, put it in writing, and we really don't normally have this kind of engagement at our meetings, so please put it in uh, email or I'm letter. I'm just saying because the people who work during the day have their opinions and their concerns as well. So as taxpayers and residents of Orange County, we don't have a say. Okay, please send an email to the chairman of the Mental Health Committee, Health and Mental Health. Thank you. Okay, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. I would thank, like, before we adjourn, I'd like to thank uh, Legislator Tautel for bringing in the brownies and Legislator Stagenga for bringing in the pastries. I'm never going to lose weight now. I'll tell you the way, at the rate I'm going. Uh, Lori, do you have a question? Did you have a question? You had your hand up. Oh, okay, good. All right, we're adjourned. Thank you.